coming into Pancake Creek after a lovely overnight sail up from Bundy. Just motoring in now, finding our way in. Solved their problem of the This is the wonderful Bob giving us a guided tour of the lighthouse. How cool! Okay. You can sit there for a while. Yeah, too long. <laughs> <laughs> Always the only one that's older than me here. <laughs> um, this is the office. Basically, how it was set up in most lighthouses in Queensland. All the ones I worked in or worked at were like this, um, and they would. Uh, uh, they used to have to wind the mechanism when when it was first built in 1868 when it was oil burning. They had to wind a mechanism there which was a counterweight to keep the light turning. Ah. And had to do it every couple of hours. Ah, so it was like fans were to right through the night. They had three keepers. They would do shifts through the night to keep it going. Wow. And uh, when it became electrified uh, in 1935, they didn't need to do that anymore. So it was all removed. There's photos of it up top side. But Taking a walk through the cemetery. Unmarked grave. Catherine Boughton, 24 years younger than her husband, and she ends up living here alone with her two children in a tin humpy by the creek. This poor little girl pulled boiling water onto herself and took eight hours to die slowly. Awful. Drowning in Pancake Creek. Murder mystery. Nils probably killed his wife. He had a throat cut and was found in the bush. He claimed it was suicide. 
Now that I'm unmarked. I drowned in Pancake Creek with that other lady. And a little baby. Just taken a walk down from the lighthouse down to Jenny Lind Creek which is on the other side of Pancake Creek and then that leads out to the ocean and a beautiful big bay that takes you around the downhill. 